Every human fossil is a prize. They are so rare that reconstructing our evolutionary path is necessarily based on limited evidence. In fact, if you gathered every piece of human fossil ever found, they would barely fill the back of a pickup truck. Put these fossils together and they tell the riveting story of our journey. Our family tree links all species of walking apes, each a kind of human. At the top, we modern humans are alone, the ultimate survivor. Descend seven million years and you come to the first species who split from knuckle-walking apes, a pioneer who's still unknown. Halfway up the tree, over three million years ago, a remarkable early relative emerges. Scientists nicknamed her Lucy. Uncovered in East Africa in the 1970s, her fossils stunned the world. Other walking ape bones had been found before, but nothing so ancient, so primitive. Lucy was the oldest bipedal ape ever found. It was as if they had discovered Eve. But if she was Eve, she didn't yet look or act like us. Lucy walked on two legs, but she still had one foot in the trees. Her long arms suggest she retains climbing skills to stay out of the reach of predators, but her skeleton is becoming human. Though she has a body and brain about the size of a chimps, her thigh bones slant inward like ours to support her as she stands. Her pelvis morphs, no longer flat like a chimps, it's cupped like ours to hold her guts when she's upright. Lucy's mouth becomes more human. She loses the huge canine teeth that male chimps use to threaten each other. Lucy is still different from us. Modern humans are bigger and brainier, and we've lost the long arms and fingers she needed to climb trees. Though the original Lucy fossils were found in a desert-like region of Ethiopia, her species ranged over a wide area of Africa, including the land around Lake Turkana in modern-day Kenya. Here, investigators have found more fossils of Lucy species. Even one new piece of this creature could tell us something vital about our origins, because Lucy could be our direct ancestor.